In June 1845, the citizens of the Republic of Texas voted to approve annexation to the United States as the 28th state. That lit the match to a boundary dispute between Mexico and the U.S. Troops were deployed from across the country to the U.S.-Mexico border. On September 12, 1845, the steamship Dayton, carrying U.S. troops under the command of General and future President Zachary Taylor, exploded in Corpus Christi Bay. Eight men died, their bodies brought ashore for burial, and General Taylor selected the top of the highest nearby hill as their final resting place. The eight men were buried under a large mesquite tree. The site became the primary burial site for the city of Corpus Christi for more than four decades. Often referred to as the graveyard, Bayview Cemetery became the final resting place for many of Corpus Christi's earliest settlers. Seven of the city's earliest mayors are also buried there, including our first mayor, Benjamin Neal. Veterans of five different wars, including the Texas Revolution, are also buried there. By 1900, Bayview Cemetery was largely neglected and forgotten, but the grounds were cleaned up by a group of ladies who formed the Bayview Cemetery Association. They also raised money for its continued maintenance. In 1912, newspaper publisher Eli Merriman took over the association's mission and worked tirelessly to publicize the historical importance of the cemetery. And 13 years later, he convinced city leaders to take over ownership. Nearly 100 years later, the city's Parks and Rec Department still maintains the land, and just this year, a new marker was dedicated naming the old Bayview Cemetery to the National Register of Historic Places. For Coastal Bend History, I'm Andy Lascano.